So the question now is, how do we derive sine of alpha plus beta? And at this point in time, we already know these results. We know a cosine alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta. And we also know cosine of alpha minus beta is cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Unfortunately, neither of them are assigned, which means that we can't do what we did last time and just change an alpha minus beta into an alpha plus beta. But here, we need to obviously change the cosine into a sine somehow to be able to use the rule. So we want to work out what sine of alpha plus beta is, but we have to think of it as a cosine. Now, you'll have to consider how you might be able to change a sine into a cosine, or if you like, a cosine into a sine. So cosine of something must equal sine of something. And if you brainstorm a little bit over the things that we've sort of about talked about last week, if we just consider this whole thing as theta, then what goes into the cosine? So it should be um it's two hundred and seventeen degrees plus theta. Well, not two hundred and seventy because ninety minus theta. That's probably the easiest option. There, I mean, there's a few other options, right? There are a few other options. I mean, 90 minus theta probably is one of the easier options. Yeah. Um, and so we could now consider this basically as 90 minus alpha plus beta. But that's simple enough to think of it as 90 minus alpha minus beta. And that's simple enough to put a bracket around the 90 minus alpha. Yes. And we can think of this as our sort of x, if you like, and this as our y, which then means you're going to get cosine of 90 minus alpha, right? Yeah. Multiplied by cosine of beta plus sine of 90 minus alpha times sine of beta. And remembering that cosine of 90 minus alpha is sine alpha. And remembering that cosine of 90 minus alpha is cos alpha. You will now get the result that sine of alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Now, you can probably see what's coming next. <laughs> And we can probably skip the other ones for the moment. If we at this point already know that sine of alpha plus beta is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta, then how to derive sine of alpha minus beta? And that's probably quite easy, especially given what we've already done. Yeah, so we can just just do as same as the cosine. So just sine alpha minus negative beta. Well, in this case, it's the opposite way around, right? We want to use the plus rule. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it should be plus minus a negative beta. Right. And then, of course, it's quite simple. It'll be sine alpha cos of negative beta. And then plus cos of alpha sine of negative beta. And as usual, we know that this is just cos beta. We know that this will be represented by negative sine beta. And so it's sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Thereby giving us our sine of alpha minus beta equals sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Yes. Good. 